Since the beginning of our existence, man has been decorating his instruments of war. War art traditionally served as a protection from evil, to receive supernatural powers from the gods, and to give a noble identity to each warrior. Come the 20th century, the tradition continued, but things got a little less, well, noble. So how did war art go from this to this? The first recording of nose art was on an Italian flying boat, circa 1913. This practice then exploded in popularity among German and Italian pilots and rapidly expanded across borders. When nose art began to take off, fearsome mouths were painted at the base of the propeller, almost resembling a jagged shark's mouth. Within time, other famous art became popularized, such as the kicking mule or the flying tiger. However, the sexual aspect of it became more widespread as pinup girl posters became more popular in the military. 